Hey guy, and look, this has been a lot of activities that we've been covering from early morning until when the parade starts at 6.30. So we're basically right here behind the main stage at about 4.15, which is in just a few minutes. They're going to be having a cake cutting for the, of course, when you have a birthday, you have to have a cake cutting since we are celebrating 250 years for the Army. So that's going on right behind us. But this place has been pretty active with the folks coming and going. When we were trying to get in here, there was a line probably four or five blocks long on both sides of Constitution. Avenue going all the way back to the Capitol. Uh, and we know that that's only going to pick up as we do get closer to the parade. Right now, the weather is holding off. It's kind of hot and steamy, but I want to show you something that's pretty cool because the Army is putting on a display, of course, all of their, their machinery, all of their Air Force and um, equipment. But we also have some robotics going on here. This is Sergeant Miller, and we've been watching. I, I want to call them cute, but I suppose they are not cute. They're probably quite dangerous. Uh, tell us tell us what, what these things are. Yeah, so essentially, uh, I'm Sergeant Miller from Fort Belvoir. We work on the robotic side of replacing soldiers in the battlefield. What we have here are two autonomous robot dogs, and we're basically using these dogs to clear minefields overseas. So instead of using soldiers like me and the other beautiful men and women that serve our country, instead of getting, using them in the fight, we can send dogs out there, robot dogs, that could detect these mines and clear these mines without putting any soldiers in harm. I know that's one of the most dangerous things is when you are trying to go and clear an area, you just don't know where that mine is. And we see so many coming back or maybe not even coming back from discovering them. What is the range of what they can find? Do they have to be on it? Can they sniff them out within a certain area? So essentially we can operate these through satellites. So the soldier himself doesn't have to be involved at all. These dogs will completely by themselves just go out through a field and they'll find the mines and they'll mark them and then they'll send other robots in to come clear them. What is the level of success that you found with them? Right now, these dogs are being used in like humanitarian demining operations around the world. So uh, they are, they do have some fruitful impact in the world today, but they still have a little bit more testing and trials to go through. Can I ask, do we even know how much one of these runs? So we actually, Boston Dynamics builds the robot dog. We build the algorithm on top. So we could buy this commercial. You could buy this dog off the shelf if you want. If you got like 75 grand to spend, you could go ahead and buy yourself a dog just for around the house. Uh, they're good, they don't shed, they don't bite. So like, <laughs> I, hey, look, I mean, you, you can use them in the Army for mines, which we absolutely love because we want every soldier that goes overseas to come back healthy and be with their families. But you want someone to go fetch you a beverage in the kitchen, they can do this. Uh, look, they don't make messes, don't shed. Uh, that's kind of a high price for a dog, but I know people, when they love their animals. Uh, anything else special about these? How has the reaction been? We see the kids absolutely loving it. Oh, my God. Kids absolutely love it. Some of them are petrified. I mean, it's a very intimidating-looking thing, but you know what? Like, I think when people start seeing it, it's a familiar thing you know it's a dog and people treat it like a dog which I think is funny kids go up and pet it people are playing fetch with it you know they're treating it as a dog but really it's a robot that's made to help survive and improve lethality on the battlefield all right thank you sergeant Miller this Absolutely. is great and we appreciate you coming out here for your service for putting on a demonstration we can already see lots of reaction of everybody just really enjoying this out here today thank you so much yeah you have a great day so yeah, Guy, there's things like this as you walk all the way around the mall. Um, robotics, there's satellites, there's a lot of different equipment that's on display uh, that the Army has and uses to try and keep our military safe as they go out and do this. But this is what this whole day is about. It's about celebrating everything that they do. Uh, and when you do get to the parade, we're gonna go all the way back to the Revolutionary War and see some of the equipment and how they kind of operated back then. But this is definitely considered modern day. You see also, we have some of the um, the helicopters behind us. There's lots of stuff, activities for the family to kind of go around and do, but it's all waiting until 6.30 when the parade starts, depending on the weather.